So you're getting the iPad 3 tomorrow, and do you want to take all of your content and settings from your old iPad to your new iPad? So the first thing that we're going to do, obviously, is hook her up to iTunes and uh, select that. Select your iPad in iTunes, and then that's going to open up uh, this window where what we want to do, though, is instead of syncing like we normally would do, we want to right click or um, if you're on a MacBook Pro, use two fingers to click. Pull up this context menu and pick backup. Because the idea is we're going to take everything that's on our old iPad off and store it in iTunes. So that's what we're doing right now. This can take a little while, so we're not going to watch that whole thing happen. Now we're going to go to our iPad, find the um, settings icon and open up settings. Within settings, we're going to select general. And then within general, we're going to need to scroll the, you know, move the screen up with your finger and then select reset at the bottom. That will open up this dialog box. And from here, we're going to want to select erase all content and settings. That pops up this little dialog where we will again say that we want to erase. And since this is such a serious operation, they actually ask you if you're really sure that you want to erase. And again, you have to uh, touch the erase button. After a few minutes, when you push the home button, you should see this display on your pristine erased iPad. If you were to swipe to unlock your iPad, then you're going to begin a setup process. But we're not going to do that. We're going to use iTunes to reload the content and settings of whatever user we want. Use your USB cable to hook you up. And now instead of starting it as new, you want to pick which user, um, which user settings and content you want to put onto your new iPad. So, for example, if I got my new iPad tomorrow and I wanted to make it exactly the same as my old one, I would just take the restore that we just did and put it on the new iPad. And then if this iPad was going to be used by my wife, instead of picking my um, iPad from the drop-down menu, I would pick my wife's uh, backup of her iPad and then we could put that onto this iPad. So this is how you do hand-me-down iPads. You back up the image, you save it in iTunes, you erase the iPad, and then you take the next iPad and do the exact same thing. And then with the erased iPads, you put on whatever user you want because it's a, it's a clean slate. And you'll have all the apps in all the same places that you ever had. You may have to re-enter some of your passwords. Sometimes I found that uh, this didn't get copied in the restore process and so I had to enter um, my own password into Microsoft Exchange or an app like Twitter. Um, you, so your mileage may vary there. The process of restoring an iPad can take up to a half an hour depending on how much content and how many apps you've got on there. So just take a break and your iPad is going to look like this until it's done and it looks exactly like you remember it looking. So good luck. I hope whoever you're giving your old iPad to enjoys it and I hope you enjoy your new iPad and that this makes the transition to the new iPad a little bit easier for you.